In this video, I want to introduce volumes. So, you're used to distance, okay, finding the length of a line, uh, and you know that that line is broken up into divisions of measure, and you know about area. Area is looking, about, looking at how much space uh, on a page does a shape take up. It's inner area, okay? How wide is it by how long is it, okay? And then volume is discussing, well, how much can we fit inside the shape, inside the three-dimensional shape? So if I was going to fill one of these shapes with water, for example, how much water could it hold? So this is what we're talking about when we're thinking about volume. We're actually thinking about three-dimensional shapes, what would be contained within them. So we've got two cuboids here, and we want to work out the volume for each of them. The calculation is very straightforward. Um, so it starts off with trying to find the area of the front face. So the volume of this shape is equal to the area of the front face, 3 times 3, multiplied by the length of the shape, or the depth of the shape. So how far back does the shape go? So you multiply that by the depth of the shape. So it's the front area face multiplied by the depth. So 3 times 3 times 10. So it's effectively the three distances multiplied together. So 3 times 3 is 9, times 10 is 90. So it's 90, and it's the units will be centimetres cubed. For this shape here, for this cuboid, first of all, work out the area of the front face. So the volume, in this case, is 3 times 6. That's the area of that rectangle. And then you multiply it by the depth of the shape. So multiply it by 2 in this case. So we've got 3 times 6 is 18, times 2 is 36, and the units, centimetres, cubed. Okay, not squared, because that was area, cubed, because we're dealing with volume. And that is how we work out the volume of cuboids.